Welcome to your morning news. Coverage you can count on. I'm Ned Laduca. And I'm Tatum Foshe. Attention juniors, your entertainment sale ends today. Envelopes need to be turned into Miss Antosh in room 410 or Mrs. Wade in room 241 by the end of the day. Do you like to write? Do you like to be around motivated and creative people who share your passion? If so, consider coming to our first meeting of the Writing Club this year. This is a rebranding of literary, literary Club and we'd love to meet and work with anyone who enjoys the written word. Our first meeting is Monday after school during activity period in room 207. All are welcome. Attention seniors, if you are in need of pig credits, remember to attend the Care Parent Night. It didn't start with heroin. This Wednesday, October 17th at 6.30 p.m. in the PAC, you will receive one pig credit for attending. On Monday, October 15th, Lemoyne College will be visiting us, and on Tuesday, October 16th, the University of Rochester will be here. If you would like to meet with them, please sign up in the counseling office and receive a pass. Attention seniors, do you exemplify the characteristics of a good citizen? You could be considered for a nomination for the Daughters of American Revolution Good Citizenship Award. If interested, please submit your name to the counseling office by October 16th. Attention all seniors, the links to upload your senior portrait and quote are on Schoology. Go to the Class of 2019 page and under the Yearbook Info tab, upload them. They are both due October 31st. There will be an informational meeting regarding the fitness club on Wednesday, October 17th in Miss Daly's room 151. Please come to see all this club has to offer. Attention all senior NHS members. There will be a meeting today in the PAC during advisement. Attention seniors, Monroe Community College will be having an instant decision day here at Spencer Port High School on Tuesday, November 6th an admissions counselor will be here to review students' applications and give them an admissions decision. There are a limited number of stop, spots, so no students so students will need to sign up no later than October 6th, 26th in the counseling office. Do you like to be the boss and maker of your own decisions? Are you a creative, out-of-the-box thinker? Then Odyssey of the Mind is for you. Students are in charge of coming up with an original solution to a challenging problem. The rules even say that adults are forbidden from telling you what to do. Your solution may include drama, music, engineering, or a vehicle you build yourself. It's up to you to decide. Team meetings run from November till March and are typically once each week, but you decide how to best work around your busy schedules. For more information, come to the meeting Saturday, October 20th at the Cosgrove Library or pick up information flyer in the main office. Attention students, next week the following colleges will be visiting us. Lemoyne College, University of Rochester, Ithaca College, SUNY Oswego, Damon College, Ohio Northern University, and Johnson and Wales University. If you would like to meet with them, please sign up in the counseling office and receive a pass. Now it is time for your weather. Good morning everyone. Today's high is going to be near 83. Partly cloudy skies today with no rain expected until late tonight. Tomorrow is going to be a little cooler in the 70s. Also, rain and thunderstorms are possible tomorrow morning. Hurricane Michael was a beast. Yesterday it made landfall at 1.30 in the afternoon. It was just shy of being the fourth Category 5 hurricane landfall in United States history. It made landfall at top sustained winds of 155 miles per hour. This storm was the first since 1898 to enter Georgia as a major hurricane. Sign significant damage from storm surge and wind were reported. Tornadoes were also reported in the southeast, including the hurricane battered Carolinas. Stay tuned for more information on this storm as it comes in and have a weathertastic day. Back to you, Ned. Thanks, Jeremy. Are you a student who is making a difference by volunteering in your community? If so, the Prudential Spirit of Community Awards program is looking to recognize your efforts. For information and an application, see Mrs. Burnett in the counseling office. There will be a mandatory meeting for girls in grade 9 through 12 interested in playing basketball on Monday, October 15th during activity period in room 502. That's all for your morning announcements.